I want to demonstrate solving an annuity problem using the TI-83 or 84 financial application. To do this, you start off by pressing the Apps button, and we select Finance, and then TMV Solver. We get the following screen. N stands for the number of payments total over the course of the loan. I is your interest rate in terms of a percent. PV is present value. PMT is your monthly payment. FV stands for future value. P over Y is the number of times per year I'm going to be making a deposit. And C over Y is the number of periods per year that interest is compounded. Payment end and begin is whether I make the payment at the end of the period or the beginning of the period. Let's look at this problem. First of all, I'm compounding annually for 25 years. So I'm going to do one for annually, that is once per year, times 25 for the number of years that I'm compounding. My interest rate is 5.5%. Notice I'm using this in percent form and not decimal form, which is what I usually use when I'm using my formulas. I'm not concerned about present value for this problem. For the payment, I'm depositing $3,000 per year. My future value is what I want to find, so I'm going to leave that blank for right now. My periods per year, well, it says I am making a periodic deposit at the end of each year, so we'll leave that as one. And interest is compounded annually, so again, that's once per year. It says that I'm making my deposit at the end of each year, so I'll leave end highlighted. So I'm going to go back up to future value. That's what I want the calculator to find. So I'm going to click on alpha, and then over the enter button is the word solve that will solve the problem for us. So I find that after 25 years, I'll have, well, a negative number. What's going on here is I really should have, for payment, instead of $3,000, I should have done negative $3,000. That means the money is leaving me and going somewhere else, in this case, a bank. If I did that, when I do my future value, I will get the positive result that I was really expecting. But don't get too caught up in the signs. It usually is an issue between which direction the money is going to, but you'll notice the actual dollar amount did not change. The second part of this question says to find the interest. To do that, I'm going to quit to my main screen, and I'm going to say, all right, one time a year for 25 years, I'm depositing $3,000. That means I've set aside $75,000 towards this annuity. What my annuity was worth was $153,457. When I subtract from that the amount that I put in, I find that my money has made $78,457 without me having to put that money in there. So the amount of interest earned is 78,457.